Hi Gemini, it's CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Today's reading is going to be a general reading for you, Gemini, that will be approximately from mid-July until, you know, August, beginning of August, um, as well as whenever you are called to this reading, there's probably a message in it for you. Time is fluid, as we all say. All right, so Gemini, let's just get started. I'm going to start with getting um, a few cards of the tarot, and then I will probably get you an oracle or two, as guided, and we can get some clarifiers if needed. Okay, bottom of the deck, right off the start, is the Nine of Cups after I've split the deck. So this is a beautiful energy, even just to show up at this point in your reading. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment, right? Whatever you have been wanting, hoping for, wishing for, working towards, um, it feels possibly that this may be coming towards you over the next couple of weeks, in whatever realm that could be, um, emotional, financial, etc. right? Okay, let's get started. Spirit, show me clearly for our beautiful air sign, Gemini, the second part of July. 2022. What messages do you have for them? And we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace, Ace of Cups, and the King of Cups. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm really feeling that Nine of Cups that was on the bottom is actually very important in this reading. Bottom of the deck at this moment is Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. This is feeling very much more about your finances here. And please excuse the loud noise that you probably can hear rumbling. There's work being done out on the roads out here, so hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> um, okay. And there goes my dog. So crazy, crazy. All right, so let's get into this reading. This is looking really beautiful because even after the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Four of Wands. Um, we did have the Four of Cups. Um, and the wheel. So I feel like your luck is about to change this final couple of weeks in July. Let's get started here. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of, uh, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Pentacles. So Gemini, I feel like you have been putting in a lot of work here um, with your maybe your career could just be in even your finances investing money etc however that might apply to you because we have the knight of pentacles opening up here and the knight of pentacles is all that slow and steady kind of energy it's like really taking your time to be methodical on how you are approaching things how you are doing things if you're setting up some kind of a business plan here you're really actually going from step a b c d e f g you're not missing anything um and although it may be a slow process um, especially when it comes to seeing the financial uh, breakthrough, it is guaranteed. It, it feels very much like this is getting guaranteed for you. So if you've been struggling, it's about to change. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is letting you know that this is a new beginning in your material wealth. Um, can also indicate even in your self-esteem because I read Pentacles, the earth element, as you know, also how we feel about ourselves, our worthiness of how we feel. So. I feel like you are really starting to, you're gonna really start to see the progress here. Knight of Pentacles is walking straight to the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. Um, I got that backwards, let me try and hold it up. Look at this. It's like whatever you've been working on is actually manifesting here. You are going from the Knight all the way up to the Nine. And the Nine of Pentacles is saying, you are gonna have a lot of material wealth and it feels like it's gonna continue growing from this point forward. Um, it's followed by the Ace of Cups. So I feel like not only are you going to have the financial backing and expansion for you, you're also going to be getting this blessed energy of your emotional well-being finally being balanced. Because, you know, when we're all struggling about money and wondering how we're going to pay our bills, it can really take a load on our emotional well-being, right? And, you know, Gemini, I know you are highly communicative. You use your logic a lot. You're also very loving. Uh, so... It, if you've been feeling a little bit off, this is gonna change things. Ace of Cups, King of Cups. Very much in control of your emotions, feeling very emotionally balanced, really going with the flow. Nothing is looks like it's coming in to shake your foundation up here. Um, and I think things are really, the outlook is changing drastically. Ace of Pentacles is even followed by the Four of Wands, which is the card of celebration. Happy home, happy family. It's very much like the Ten of Cups kind of energy. So, um, we're going to continue, but I'm going to go into my other deck, my um, spirit animal 
oracle and see what else needs to be shared with you. But so far, this is beautiful. Wow, can you believe this? Bottom of the deck. Again, after splitting the deck, nine of cups. So nine of cups has showed up twice in your reading. You are gonna feel really good in the next few weeks, especially moving into August, Gemini. If this reading is resonating with you and you know that you've been really working hard on something here, project, business, new career path, taking a new job, I don't know, it's gonna be different for all. It is really gonna actually start to pay off in dividends with the Nine of Cups showing up twice. Your wishes are getting fulfilled. Okay, so Spirit, what else do you have for our Gemini here? For the last remainder couple of weeks of July, moving into August, that's too many, we can't take all of those. All right, beautiful though. This is really exciting. It's like your love, your cup, your cup, cup will runneth over in emotional satisfaction and in your finances. We have the tower and we do have the seven of swords that have flipped, has flipped out here. Bottom of the deck right now is the eight of pentacles. There's still work to be done. Um, hmm, just trying to pick up on what they're saying here. The Seven of Swords has come out. Now, the Seven of Swords is a sneaky energy. It can be one where um, someone could be stealing from you, right? It's a sneaky energy that typically I don't really love. But in this situation, with this reading, I actually feel, because th there's another meaning to this card, I'm actually feeling the Seven of Cups has come, or Seven of Swords has come out because you have had to kind of um, play it Play this, this, I don't, I'm not going to say the game, but you've had to be a little bit more sneaky as you've been making this. And I don't mean in a negative, negative way at all. Uh, this feels more like you have kept something to yourself. For example, let's say you were working for a company and um, some higher position became available. Uh, and maybe there's you and four other co-workers, for example, and everyone is vying for this job, this higher position. Um, and you know that if you say that you're going for it too, maybe someone might sabotage you. So you're keeping it to yourself. So you're, so in that way, it's not sneaky, but you're using the Seven of Swords to your own benefit. And so there, I feel that's why the tower comes in because it is really gonna shake things up. If this is, and I feel like this is for some of you out there, Gemini, um, may not apply to all of you, we're all on different paths, but I feel like this putting yourself first, which is very important, um, not by stepping on other people's toes or anything, but putting yourself first and going after what it is that you're wanting here, um, it may bring a little bit of a tower moment because the tower is showing up, right? So foundation is getting shook up. Now, this could just be you going from maybe being more of not having hardly any money and then the tower comes in because it needs to shake that icky foundation of, you know, not of lack. Um, and it's coming in to reestablish a solid foundation of plenty. Um, it could be that, or it also, and that's probably the majority of it, but I'm also picking up for some of you that regarding this secret, we'll put it like that secret, what you're keeping to yourself, the plan, um, that you are, you are making here, you're keeping it to yourself and when this success starts to come in and i'm still going to stay with that same example of if you're going vying for a higher position you know it may shake up the atmosphere of where you work right other people might be a little bit envious they might be a little bit jealous but it doesn't matter because at this point it feels like this is destined to happen for you okay so let's see what else and like i said we have eight of pentacles on the bottom which is all about continuing to work continuing to put the work in um, you know, not stopping yet. Although Nine of Pentacles is bringing you, it's a promise with the Ace of Pentacles, it's bringing you a lot of better finance here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And even if people get upset or jealous or something like that, I don't think it's going to phase you because King of Cups, he does not get phased by that kind of stuff. Um, he knows who he is. He's emotionally balanced. It's very... Um, He's even logical in his emotions, um, if you know what I mean. Like he doesn't let the tide, even if it changes, he doesn't let it sway his position. So I feel like you are gonna be very stable in your emotions. Anything else, Spirit? For Gemini, for this beautiful reading here. Wow, what do we got? It's happening fast. 
Wow, we got the Father of Pentacles. So much Pentacles in this reading. Father of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. But the card that jumped out here is the Ace, Eight of Wands. Very fast movement. So Gemini, this is going to be happening really quick um, over the next couple of weeks. You're not going to have to wait too long to start to see your resources growing, building, expanding. Um, this all is happening boom there's a lightning rod here and you know you've probably have seen lightning before you know how quickly it shoots that's exactly what's going to be happening here you the tide has turned and it is in your favor uh, just keep on going this is absolutely gorgeous and bottom of the deck we have the father of pentacles which is the king of pentacles right so now you have two kings showing up king of pentacles is a very wealthy person it um is someone who's very grounded and very comfortable and very kind as well they you know they're kind of like more of a father figure male female doesn't matter but this is indicating that you're going to have so much money that you are going to be very comfortable um following the father of pentacles guess what second ace of cups two aces of cups now showing up and underneath that we have the nine of pentacles so you've got two nine of pentacles you've got two aces of cups and you had two nine of cups big big shift this month in your finances and in your emotional well-being beautiful congratulations whatever you've been working on man gemini this is this is going to be life-changing for you very powerful um and i will just mention another little thing spirit's given me with the seven of swords maybe keep your eyes open a little bit for anyone that wants to a sabotage you your success or even b try to take something from you because they see your success that's the only little bit of warning i'm picking up here i'm really not getting anyone else's energy other than i'm feeling this is about you and how you are climbing to the top now your per perseverance has paid off. So I'm gonna get you, I wanna get you one um, oracle deck, or card here. I'm gonna use my um, wisdom oracle. I have an animal card in here. That's really interesting. I have shuffled these decks off camera, separate, and this was not in here, so I do not know how this got there. But you know what, nothing happens for just chance i don't believe everything is purpose is on purpose so the card that was in the middle <laughs> um wow with i this is crazy it's the meerkat responsibility this is really powerful because i do feel this card showing up in here which is so strange um you are taking on greater responsibility but with this greater responsibility you are getting greater rewards so spirit wanted you to have that message because that is bizarre that it was in this deck there's no way it i don't even understand how it could have gotten in there very strange but spirit works in mysterious ways okay let's let's start bottom of the deck said to be fair which is all about scales getting balanced so if things have felt like they've been out of balance out of sync um they're about to be balanced now your hard times are over financially for sure all right what card do you have spirit for our gemini regarding this beautiful reading my goodness gorgeous energy show me clearly please <laughs> i'm just giggling this meerkat you know perhaps okay i just got it Perhaps you are taking a position that's going to be higher up um, and there may be other people that wanted that position or even if they didn't have the expertise to go for it, place this energy where it might fit. This is again an example, but they are giving it to me. Um, you know, let's say you're working with four other co-workers and you're all on the same level, um, but you get the position. There might be a little envy going on. So just be mindful of that um, because they are giving me that with the meerkat. Not everyone might appreciate the fact that you are getting this step up. You are getting this expansion in your finances and in your career. Okay. Thank you. Spirits. Show me clearly for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What, what Oracle message do you have for them? Please show me clearly. And one more shuffle, please. Treasure Island has come out. Wow. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Yin. All about the receiving. Again, look at the cup. It's so. It re, this card reminds me so much of the Ace of Cups. It really, truly does. It's just open to receiving. 
beautiful. Okay, let's talk about the Trevor, Treasure Island. This is it. This is summing up this entire reading. Your treasure is about to uh, be gifted to you. Treasure Island is just that. It is taken a while. There's a sea turtle. There's a treasure um, of treasure chest on the sea turtle's back. It's not quite at the island yet. It's almost there, you know, very much just running through, swimming through the funnel waves and is about to bring that treasure chest onto that island. That's what's coming towards you. Beautiful money, love, abundance. Look, there's hearts, there's coins all around there. That's what's coming towards you. So spirit is totally confirming here. Um, get ready, Gemini. Life is about to get really, really sweet. Gorgeous. Okay, Gemini, I hope this helped in some way. Looks amazing. Let me know what is going on. How how this reading might um, you know, be a confirmation for you on what is going on in your life, but it looks really beautiful. Thank you so much for all your support on my channel. I truly appreciate you. I hope to see you back at a later